Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Vibes Cartel lashes out after Buja said this. Richie Stevens breaks silence about the rape allegation. Stay tuned for the stories in detail, and remember to follow me on Instagram at Malta underscore Massey. Yeah. So massive! Can I tell you it's getting serious? I just posted a video with this Chinese lady claiming she was raped by our very own Richie Stevens. However, Richie Stevens took to his Instagram to clear the air. Here goes. Hello everyone, my name is Richard Stevenson, aka Richie Stevens, and I'm here today to address some allegations that you might see going around about me. Initially, I said I wasn't gonna say anything, but now I think I owe it to my family, to my friends, and to my fans to come out and set the record straight. Miss Elaine Lim came out on social media and made some allegations against me. Some of what she said is true, but I am here to tell you what is true. One, she was on tour with me in Australia in 2019. Two, she made a formal report to the police against me. Three, she did a rape kit. But what she did not tell you, a thorough investigation was done by the Australian police. I was detained. They took a statement from me, a statement from her, a statement from other people and there were cameras in the vicinity while I was detained I called my attorney Mr. Christopher Townsend who advised me on what to do and at the end of that investigation they found her allegations were simply baseless you know what is true I'm really sorry for her to know that she would go that far to try and get some recognition we're living in a time where people are doing certain things. We see it every day. Some people believe that likes are far more important than the truth. And we're here today to bring the truth out. Check this out. She claimed that I came back to Jamaica and run on to the media and give them fabricated stories. I have not done that even one interview. I have not posted a video about the incident. I didn't do nothing like that. The only thing happened is my attorney, Mr. Christopher Townsend, wrote a letter that I posted on my IG. That's all I did. Now this is in contrast to what she has done. You have to remember this now, people. This woman is a professional video editor. And if you take a keen look at her video, you see the sheet behind her. You see she talk in a certain type of way. This is nothing but a stage performance, a whole stage production. No, you don't need to stage the truth. All right, people, let's take a look at something where she said. She said, in her country, I would be guilty until proven innocent, which is not even true. But that tells you how warped her mind is. She also took the time to invite the media to link her personally. Clearly, she had a boss. Now, ladies and gentlemen, she even trying to make it seem as if she didn't get justice in Australia. Australia is one of the most serious countries in the world when it comes to sex crimes. Now, I am a very serious supporter of bringing sexual predators to justice. But her allegations are simply not true. There are people with serious issues as a result of sex crimes. So when people like her come with all these lies, it does not help the movement. I am Richard Stevens, and that's my piece. So he captioned that, 
setting the record straight. The truth needs no staging. Well, there you have it, massive. Wanna believe? Wanna believe? May I go say this again? We say it all the time on my platform. There's three sides to every story. Richie's side, the female side, and the truth. But anyway, massive, leave your thoughts below. I don't come for sell nothing. The Lord bless me from me at 19. I come stay true to the order of what I'm saying. Singers and players of instrument. Me not a bomb clad entertainer. Me I'm a singer and a player of instrument. Entertainers are clowns. So massive after Budge Banton went live and um, blast some entertainer for selling out. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, check my previous video. Some persons were of the impression that Budge Banton is talking about Vibes Cartel because of course Vibes Cartel take the job and because of a post Vibes Cartel made about entertainers. After Budge went live and of course we post the video so on and so forth here comes vibes cartel making this post on his instagram page also on another page allegedly associated with vibes cartel so vibes cartel posted a snippet of his new song with the caption gaza nation we never sell out never quote out never groans out Taught my mind who vex vex temptation coming soon the only one nation is gaza nation any more nation at imitation he made that same post on the adija palmas page in addition to that post he allegedly made some snaps from the adija palmas account it reads cartel said people do your own research and decide what's best for you and the same people in vex Wow. You know, Mr. Bujabantan, after you met with the gay power structure to secure your career, you out here calling your co-workers Batman after you selling cocaine to fulfill your greed and even got caught tasting it, you calling your co-workers sell out for money, that's rich. Then he posted a snippet from the Guardian newspaper with the title Budge Bantan sentenced to 10 years in prison for cocaine trafficking. He posted another article, circle, a uh, underline, Budge Bantan tasting cocaine. So I guess he's presenting his facts for his statement. Then he went on to say, we never sell out for money. I want some waste boy. That was a caption for this post. Budge Banton and Johnson again met up on December 8 to finalize the deal where they discussed prices and other logistics while driving through the streets of Sarasota. Johnson gave the singer a small amount of cocaine to sell on his own as a part of his trap for Wendy, DEA, ready to arrest him. Banton also thanked Johnson for the opportunity to sell drugs while also talking about his financial problems. Thank you very much for this opportunity, man, Bujabantan said. Oh, you have given me the opportunity to be myself again. The warehouse in the video was also owned by Sarasota Police Department and it's fitted at every corner with hidden cameras and microphones. On December 10, 2009, Ian Thomas and James Mack went back to. That's where it ends. Then he captioned that, Ahu ya boy. So Vibes Cartel is going all out. Well, the page that we're assuming have some connection with Vibes Cartel is going all out to show Bojo Selisa Bojo you sell out long time and how dare you come and call your co-workers sellouts but anyways massive what are your thoughts on this one let me know in the comment section below so that's it for today massive mountain a big up on a nice clean cell enough love enough respect blessings upon blessings upon blessings positive vibrations going out to the massive i'm out of massey magan mouta massey mouta massey covering the latest in jamaican music and culture like share comment and subscribe now, now. now.